Hey guys, uh, today I kind of wanted to show you this uh, little Java program that I had to make for uh, my Comp 110 class. Uh, I recently switched my major over from uh, electrical engineering to uh, computer science because uh, I was kind of bored there, I guess, and I wanted to learn something else. Uh, so I'm going to start up VirtualBox. So uh, basically, our final project. Uh, for my class was to make, what was it, uh, Solitaire? Yeah. So we had to make Blackjack, actually. Um, Blackjack Solitaire is what the project was called, but it's just Blackjack. <laughs> so we were supposed to use our professor's main, or his, uh, his main loop for Java, but I didn't like it, so I wrote my own. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty new to Java, so it's uh, a, a pretty terrible mess, but uh, it works very well. Um, I got an A on the project, he totally did not know that I did not use his main, uh, and I totally wrote mine from scratch. So let me try to find it here. Do, do, do. I use Genie as my IDE. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, recent files are gone because I wrote this maybe about a month ago. Uh, oh no, it's on my other thing. <laughs> Hopefully, it should be on my flash drive. Blah blah blah, shut up. USB. Flash memory. There it is, comp ten. Blackjack. So I wrote this blackjack.java and it has a couple of other files associated with this. Um black Java new Yeah, that's, oh, for some reason, oh, deck and class are in a different screen. I check new, and extra source. It's just because I compiled these in uh, two different locations. So um, deck.java is basically our array that has all the cards, so um, their value, their suit, and their uh, character. So I do that for every single card. Um, so that's just our array. There's totally, you can do this in a bunch of different ways, but I just chose to do it this way because it seemed easy for me and, uh, I'm pretty new to this. So this was basically my first attempt at figuring it out from scratch. Uh, I did not use any of the code he gave because it didn't make sense and it was horribly written. Um, this is just... Uh, an array from 0 to 51 to represent the 52 cards in the deck. Uh, so I use a random uh, import random and import scanner uh, so we can read the cards. Uh, I just made a bunch of public key things. These are just the values and stuff. Uh, and it's ours uh, was actually pretty cool because it makes a fancy GUI. Uh, when you start the game. The entire thing is run from the command line in Linux or a Mac. Uh, this will not work in Windows because of a little something that I made to uh, clear the screen right here. Uh, it uses ANSI clear, which um, basically hits enter a bunch of times on the uh, terminal so that the screen looks cleared, uh, but really it's not. It doesn't use backspace or anything, it just clears the whole screen. And then right here is our giant ass banner, which is just ASCII art, really. Um, yeah, it is it is probably the most complicated Java thing that I wrote in literally like a drunk weekend. Uh, this is part of his, of the professor's main. Uh, I kind of added some of my own methods. I also changed the fuck out of this, like, we were supposed to use different classes, and I'm just like, nah, fuck that. So, uh, 
I, I rewrote it, but um, I, I gave two versions of the game that are, are um, you can run it from either directly as Blackjack New, or you can just run Blackjack, which gives you the option to run my version or a modified version of the professors, but we use the same methods and uh, classes and stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's run it. I'm not going to run it in the little uh, terminal thing down here because it's too small. So, go back down here. Du -du -du. I'm going to do it the easy way. Linux is my first OS. It is my, well, I wouldn't say it's my first OS. Uh, I used Windows for a while and then in 2007 I switched over to Linux, but then recently I've been using 10 a lot for some other software that is exclusively Windows and I cannot port it to Wine or to work in Wine. So uh, I just did it here or in Windows and I virtual machined everything. Blackjack, let's open a terminal here. Okay. So if I remember correctly, Java Blackjack. Cool. Uh, I don't think it was called that. It is called. Oh, pfft, I'm dumb. Uppercase B. That's why nothing showed up. B. Blackjack. And there it is. So we have this fancy little gooey thing. Let me make it bigger for you guys in case you can't really see. Um, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Preferences. Yeah, let's go with that. Appearance, deja vu, uh, let's make it, let's make it, yeah, that's good, you blind ass people, I'm going to restart the program, Blackjack, uh, this is my lab partner's name, this is me, obviously, so if you had scores, obviously there's not available because we haven't played the game, if you type in help, or you can just type H, It'll tell you how to play the game. Obviously, this description of how to play the game is incorrect, but it was um, basically the prompt that the professor gave us. So you basically have to return any key. Uh, space does not count as any key. Uh, this thing is basically just cobbled together from whatever the hell I can make it. Uh, if you hit Q or type out quit, obviously it just says thanks for playing and it quits back or it breaks out of the program completely. So we'll just restart the game. So I'll do play or P. Uh, now there's two versions of the game. You want to play the fancy or the text version. If you play fancy or F, then it plays my version of the game. You can also do uppercase F. Um, also, if you type in some random shit like that, it just says, sorry, I understand. And then it loops back to the menu or it'll loop back to whatever the, uh, the current method that's running. Right now it's the menu method. So I'll just hit play again. Uh, I want to run the text version because it's ugly and we'll get to see. So basically it shuffled up the array. Uh, it says deck has been shuffled. Do you want a new hand or hit? If I do hit, obviously I can't do a hit because I don't have a blunt. Ha ha ha. Or a new hand. So I'll just start off and get a new hand. Uh, it gave me a jack and a two, whatever. 12. I use two cards in the deck basically is what uh, this bit means. It just tells you so you know if you're going to run out of cards and it will reset the game or whatever. So I'm just going to hit again. It's uh, See, the, the bad thing about the professor's code was that if you bust, it doesn't immediately tell you bust until you hit again. See, like now it says bust. And then it tells you to get a new hand. So it follows his method or his, uh, his main, but like everything is out of order and I did the minimum amount to try to edit it because he said we weren't allowed to edit it, but he didn't notice. <laughs> so uh, yeah, basically it runs like crap. Uh, you can get a new hand and whatever, but uh, I choose to quit. Uh, you also can't choose to like see your score. So like if I did the S thing, uh, it just nothing returns. It doesn't even say that it can't read it. So I have to quit it in order to see my score. See, it says busted one, blackjack zero. Uh, so we're back at the main menu. I'll do play, and we'll run my version of the game, which is fancy. 
deck has been shuffled. And then it clears the screen and then it shows you all of the options, which is pretty nice. It shows you the amount of cards used and it automatically gave you a new hand and it counted how, um, how much your hand is. So if I want to hit, it just bust automatically because the next card is a king, obviously. So I got 26 as my hand value and it says three cards were used. So yeah, do I want to play again? Yes, sure, I'll play. Um, I can do S, which shows the score, and then it clears it, and it just, you know, reshows it, so I can do S again. It doesn't matter. Uh, say I don't want this hand, so I fold the hand. New hand, just in case, so like, I choose now. Obviously it'll keep the hand, it'll keep and save all your values, so I'll fold it though, but I will say yes. And 5, that's pretty good, so I'll hit off that. 15, I'm getting close to a bad hand. Hit, uh, bust again. Play again, yeah, sure. Score, bust two, blackjack zero, win zero. Um, yeah, pretty cool. It keeps it all nice and tidy, like unlike his. So I'll quit. Play again, no. Quits to menu. I can even see the score off the fancy version. The score doesn't work for the text version. So it shows the current score. Um, Let's go back into the text version, and I'll show you what I mean by his looking like shit. So I'll do that. Hit, 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 hit. New hand, hit, hit. New hand, hit, hit. See, like, it just keeps making a new line, and it's ugly. Versus mine, it just clears the screen every time, and it, it looks pretty nice. Like, a lot of people were impressed by it. Uh, it did not follow his rules, but he totally didn't notice, and at the same time, he really liked it. I uh, got an A in the project, even though I did terrible on like the testing quizzes for the class. So, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes if you don't follow the rules, your professor won't really see it if you did an amazing job. Uh, that's one of the cool things about, uh, you know, just kicking way more ass than everyone else. Uh... As long as you do better than everyone else in the class, or somehow stand out to everyone, you'll get a good grade, no doubt. So yeah, uh, that was my project for a beginner Java class. Uh, yeah, this is basically my first really big Java program, other than, you know, Hello World or some other crap like that. But uh, yeah, uh, cool stuff. See, so I'm not totally about hardware. I love software. It's just completely new to me. That's why I switched majors, and I like this a lot more than electrical engineering, even though I didn't take that many classes in it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.